Um, the the next day I did play another game. This one was called Quelf. It's a very silly game. Is that um? Yeah, it's a basic uh, try to get to the end of of the the board kind of game, but it's not as simple as it seems because the the board has five different colors. You got blue, green, purple, yellow, and red. The blue ones resemble putting a new rule into the game. Now, one of the most silly ones I've I've seen was that for the whole table, if it is not your turn, you must end each sentence with the word "izzle." <laughs> and, <that, laughs> and if you have another rule to yourself, it can get quite funny. <laughs> for example, um, there was one person who had a, um, I think it was an action rule, which means it only applies to him. Is that if someone draws a card, he has to quack. And <laughs> combining it with the with the rules of ending with the word "izzle," whenever someone draws a card, he has to <laughs> end up getting to say "quack izzle." <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty funny when <laughs> there's so many rules in the game. Um, the green cards resemble quizzes, and if you get it right, you're safe. If you get it wrong, you have to move backwards. And some of them have extra credit, which means if you get it right, you move forward. Stunts, they're self-explanatory. You have to perform a stunt, and if you are if you fail to do it, you go backwards. Um, showbiz, kind of the same thing. But um, if uh, this is like, for example, uh, you um, you act as a news reporter, um, reporting on your mother's uh, panties li lighting on fire in the dryer, but you have to do it without laughing or smiling. Otherwise, you lose the challenge. And finally, the red ones are the um, the scatter brains, which you have to choose one of two categories. And then you have to go around the table naming stuff associated with that. And if someone fails to come up with one or repeats an answer, he gets a penalty. But the first time I played that game, I won the game. <laughs> and I tell you, I love it. And let's see. At one, at one point during the day, I was watching over Artist Alley, also as part of my... Um, uh, volunteering duties and I did get to see one of my uh, NC fur friends which I haven't seen in a long time I don't know how long it's been but I think he was making like uh, sculptures I think it was uh, but he uh, goes by the name of Cedar Paul yeah, go ahead and check it out um, I enter the poker tournament as, as some of you remember, uh, last year I ended up in 7th place, which uh, I was surprised I got so far into that tourney. This year, it was quite the opposite. Now, at the first three rounds, I was doing pretty well. I had like um, three, $4,000 um, in my bank. But then, um, my luck started to turn around. Um, for example... Um, I'm, um, the person next to me uh, was one of the uh, the top poker players. He was at the final table with me last year. He goes all in. I had pocket queens. He had a king and a nine off suit. When the flop comes up, two kings appear. That gives him a three of a kind. So basically, I had to um, get... Um, I had to get two queens in order to beat that, which is almost close to impossible. So, so yeah, that was just rotten luck on me. And eventually, in the fourth round, I was out. I had the cards, but my luck just wasn't with me. Yeah, so I was out in the fourth round. Yeah, I could have done better, but... The luck wasn't with me. 
Um, more volunteering on my part. This time I was um, covering for the volunteer table. Um, now this is where um, if if there's someone that needs a volunteer, um, I call someone up to, to send them to that location. Now there wasn't anyone that needed a volunteer in that, at that time. But there was something interesting that happened. There was someone that came up to me and, um, with, a, with a person. Um, uh, um, I think he was carrying her. And says she needed medical attention. So I call up on the radio for... Um, for medical staff to get to the table and they're like where the volunteer table uh, where is the volunteer table <laughs> this is why I think that the response should have been more quicker now we did have uh, uh, someone get there a few seconds later uh, there's like uh, a security member and uh, someone that they weren't part of the medical staff, but but they were uh, there to help out. But how do you not know where the volunteer table is? The cons are you, sh you should know that stuff. <laughs> it's right freaking at next to the main ballroom. <laughs> how can you not know that? I mean, if you're working for medical staff, you should at least know where everything is. Oh boy, but um, vital signs turned out normal, and uh, she did get arrested, and uh, she's doing fine. So that went pretty off. Well, that went pretty well, and uh, that was the only medical incident during the whole con. All right, next. Um, oh yes, my favorite, the masquerade. I finally got my uh, masquerade skit in t into the show, um, but we had the same problem as we had at FWA. One of my members does not show up. Luckily, I got some backup. So, um, and the, that backup was for the um, the skunk. Uh, he's like all almost at all the MFM. Um, events so he helped out and by god I hope someone recorded that um, and, but uh, there was some photos so um, go ahead and search those up but um, yeah um, <laughs> but Ispacat the, the judge of the uh, masquerade had uh, given us two awards what does this have to do with Vietnam POWs? And even Baby Jesus couldn't figure this out. <laughs> um, but the winner of the masquerade was Bucktown Tiger, which I'm not surprised. And he's he's like one of the best at playing piano in fursuit. Um, let's see what else was there. Fursuit games. Um, yeah, Loki uh, did play the first suit games. Uh, this is the first time that um, he's done this um, out of his um, year of appearing at cons. Um, Team-wise, he won two out of the four games. Then there was the musical chairs. Uh, he was one of the last three, and he tried to reach for the um, the chair when the music stopped, but Jace Husky stole it away from him, and his paw ended up around his tail, <laughs> which was so wrong. Um, yeah, and that was on Sunday. So. 